Good Sunday evening, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with a quick check of the forecast as we head into the holiday tomorrow, the observed holiday tomorrow, coming up for the federal holiday across much of the country. Should be seeing, again, some fairly quiet conditions. Unfortunately, here we are going to be looking at the possibility of some more rain showers out there. Some of that is already starting to move into the Mid-South for tonight. We're not seeing a huge amount of rainfall, but we will be looking for more potential of that as we get into the rest of the forecast for tonight. If you've never been here before, this is our online video weather blog, enabling you to ask questions about the forecast for West Tennessee. Tennessee, East Arkansas, North Mississippi with Memphis, Tennessee right smack there in the center. If you've got any weather reports from around the area, drop your location and your weather reports, temperature, wind speed, cloud cover, anything in the rain gauge, anything like that. Let's see what you got from across the area and let's do some amateur meteorology together. And if you've got any weather pictures, we'd love to see more about that as well. We'll feature some of your weather pictures coming up here in just a little bit from here in the Mid-South and from out West. A friend of mine from high school sent Sending in some pictures out around Burbank, California, which the air quality pretty poor from the Woolsey fire in and around Malibu. We'll see some what some of the sky conditions look like out there and more of your weather pictures from around the Mid-South area for earlier tonight. Temperatures across the area for today, not as chilly as what we saw yesterday, only back in the lower 50s. Yesterday, some 25 degrees below normal. Today, only about 13 degrees below normal. 32 dropped to the lows of freezing today. Normal low temperatures in the mid-40s. No rainfall to report for today. So we're still ahead for the year by 9 and just about two-thirds inches, so good news on that. Paulette Anders, 46 and mild in Bartlett. Thank you very much uh, for that one. Let's see who else we had here. Collierville, 48. Ronnie Williams, thank you very much for that weather report. Nicole D. Cooper-Smith, Horn Lake, and 45 degrees. Thank you very much on that. And for the rest of the area, we'll get again some more of your uh, reports coming up as we go throughout the rest of the hour. Again, for today, we're losing a lot of daylight out there as we work our way toward the winter solstice. And we're losing about two minutes of daylight per day itself all the way on through. Sunrise sun, uh, Monday, we'll be back at 632. Probably not going to see much sunlight tomorrow because of the cloud cover and the rainfall out there. So not that much uh, to be seen in tune around the area. Lucretia, Ms. Loyal Coleman at Le Bonner at the moment. So what's the weather? Well, we'll tell you about that coming up in just a bit. Scott Jarvis, Banner, Mississippi, 46 degrees and winds one mile per hour. Thank you very much for that one and everybody else checking in from across the area. Mighty lights lit up in red, white, and blue in salute of the Veterans Day holiday and looking again at some clear conditions out there. Visibility from downtown Memphis again. Gorgeous being seen here. And likewise, some red, white, and blue being displayed on the Big River Crossing. We're just to the west of the News Channel 3 studios over the Mississippi River for tonight. The animated display lit up at the top of the hour. Beautiful red, white, and blue display out there for right now. And looking again at mostly clear conditions, we can see the lights of West Memphis, Arkansas out there on the horizon. Kim Michael Grissom, 44, in Bethel Springs. Thank you very much uh, for that one for this evening. Uh, Erica Holcomb, will it snow? Good question, and the answer to that is yes, sort of. We'll talk about that coming up here in just a little bit as well. Welcome to everybody else who's checking in for this evening. Don Garner, 40 degrees in New Bern, Tennessee. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. 50 in Medina. hope I'm saying that correctly. Danny Stewart, welcome to the show. Thank you very much uh, for checking on in. Rachel Malone West, was it sleeting? in and around Oxford this morning. Yes, there was reports of some light snow around Tunica, Senatobia, cold water, got a little bit of that snow out there. Very light amounts of snowfall that was moisture that was very high up in the atmosphere, and as it fell, it evaporated, falling into very dry air down toward the surface. So yes, we did have, again, uh, the possibility is what we see, again, across the Mid-South area with some more rainfall tonight. Not looking at any snow per se right now, but we could see, again, some of that in the forecast coming up in the area. Michelle Sneed, will it warm up by recess? Uh, Going to be kind of a cold, soggy day tomorrow. We'll talk more about that in the forecast coming up here in just a little bit. Norman McIntosh, 20s on Long Island. 
Uh, wave hello to my cousin Alex over in the Bronx at Fordham. Hope he's doing all right tonight. Alice McGowey, 42, and Cloudy in Senatobia. Thank you very much uh, for that one. Down to the south of us, Mid-South Memphis metro area, all located right on in through here. Storm Tracker 3S radar showing again the heaviest amount of precipitation anywhere between central Alabama and back into the middle parts of Texas, moving its way to the east-northeast, so it's slowly making its way up this direction. If you're heading south toward Jackson tonight or over toward Little Rock, you may wind up with some of those showers coming up within the next several hours. Now here in the Mid-South area, going to ramp up the sensitivity by just a little bit and you're going to see again a little bit of moisture out there not by much, but it is detectable anyway, moving across the Mid-South. Now, several thousand feet up where it's much colder than it is down here at the surface. Most of this is probably snowfall or ice pellets, but as it gets closer to the ground, it's warm enough to where it's going to melt and turn into some light areas of rain, snow showers, mixture into and around the area there. So we are seeing, again, some pretty chilly conditions out there, but we're not seeing anything in the way of snowfall here. Several thousand feet feet up. That's probably what this is at this point in time. So we are seeing again some fairly chilly conditions out there, but nothing showing up into and around the area for anything major. Temperatures at the surface, again, back in the upper 40s, mainly to the lower 50s. 43 degrees, so a little bit cooler at Millington at the municipal airport there. But the main thing is all of this is above freezing. So we don't have anything at the surface that would allow the rain to freeze on anything. It's been pretty warm lately, so we shouldn't see any problem with that hopefully anytime soon, if we get anything in the way of anything sticking around for right now. Chances of anything involving precipitation, they develop tonight, North Mississippi, East Arkansas, and again, gradually make their way into the Mid-South area. Past midnight and tomorrow morning, commute time does not look good. Unfortunately, if you're going to be heading out for work, even if you uh, have, again, the day, not you don't have the day off for tomorrow for Veterans Day Observed, we see, again, more chances of rainfall coming on through. Soggy start to the day, more chances of rainfall pretty much throughout the rest of the day and right on into tomorrow morning and into the afternoon. Those chances of rain will be sticking around right on in through the rest of the afternoon and it looks like even into the early evening hours. Now, the good news at this time is that everything you see here is just looking at plain rainfall. We're not seeing anything in the way of any severe weather, no thunderstorms, no tropical weather heading our way. We are still in hurricane season. We'll take a look at that coming up here in just a little bit. Now, chances of rainfall stick around through rush hour home tomorrow as well and all the way into around the rest of tomorrow evening. Now, going ahead a little bit further as we get rid of this stuff as we go into Monday night, most of anything involving frozen precipitation will be north of the Missouri line, and that's where we may see some accumulations up that direction. As the dry, cold air comes in and chases this stuff off to the east, we may see right behind this a very thin line of rain mixed with snow. But once again, for this first storm system coming through, we've got two to talk about in about the next few days. The first one, the chances of anything sticking out of this or anything even uh, noticeably accumulation, say like even a dusting, that doesn't appear to be a thing right now. So we're not really looking at too much of a major concern from that. We will see those chances of snowflakes and the rainfall linger as we go into very early on Tuesday morning. And that's where the dry air takes over and sweeps most of this stuff on out of here. So we're just not looking again at a lot of anything in the way of major problems. Now again, two storm systems coming through. This one giving us the rain showers, and again, Veterans Day is going to be observed tomorrow. The holiday was today for the federal holiday coming up tomorrow. Again, we'll be looking at temperatures only in the mid-40s, and tomorrow morning's low temperatures in the upper 30s. If the kids have school tomorrow, you're going to have to make certain they're bundled up against both the chill and the rainfall. So please keep that in mind out there if you're going to be doing anything else uh, for right now. Uh, Derek Whiteside, hey Austin, what you doing tomorrow? Uh, I'll be working, going to be doing a few uh, weather experiments, but thank you for asking on that one for right now. Thank you very much 
uh, for asking on that. Palmer Densford got the deer stand ready. I was wondering if the hunters were going to be uh, out and about pretty soon with the weather changing on things like that for right now. Rest of the week, again, very chilly on Tuesday. We'll start off again with maybe a little bit of drizzle in the morning. We'll clear out toward Tuesday afternoon and evening, and then we're going to reverse that on Wednesday. We may get back in the lower 40s. Now, keep in mind, normal temperatures, normal high temperatures at this time of the year, back in the mid-60s. So we're going to be way below normal for the next couple of days, thanks to that cold air coming in from Canada. We're going to start off with a few stray showers coming up Wednesday evening, late Wednesday evening. And by the time we hit Thursday morning, there could be the possibility of some maybe some snow mixed with sleet in with some of the rainfall, but right now, number one, it's still, for winter weather forecasting, it's way too far ahead to say with any certainty. There are signs we may see something passing on through, but if you've never tried winter weather forecasting, I urge you to give it a shot. It, for me particularly, it's not my favorite season of the year to do forecasting for. There's so many finicky things that could happen uh, to change a forecast around, and if you've never tried winter weather forecasting, i urge you to give it a shot for yourself and give us again some of the ideas as to how your forecast accuracy turned out and we'll see how well that works on there. Either way, the chances of anything involving snow accumulating or any precipitation other than rain accumulating Wednesday night into Thursday looks minimal for right now never looked good in the first place. It could definitely change, though. So again, keep it tuned to News Channel 3 as storm system number 2 begins to swing on through. Now, going into the later parts of November, time moving along as it always does, we may see the temperatures moderate, getting a little closer to normal, still below normal over the next several days. It's going to be very cool out there. So for those of you who hated the heat and humidity of summertime, you've got your break here with no problem at all. The really neat thing at this point is that even though November is one of the rainiest months, is the rainiest month of the year for that matter for this area of the country, Anything past about Thursday, we don't have much of anything going on in the way of rainfall. So dry, cool, yes, but dry. And as we go into and around the area right before Thanksgiving, it looks like good travel weather for much of the country, especially the southeastern United States. So Memphis, the Mississippi Valley, if all this holds, should be good travel conditions out there for going to Grandma's house or maybe Grandma's coming to you. So far, again, looking pretty good uh, in tune around the area for right now. And again, not seeing anything in the way of major severe weather taking place. We can get some pretty nasty storms uh, at this time of the year. Casey Owensby, is your job hard? Uh, well, that depends. I mean, depending if you want to get up on my schedule for the weekend and try that schedule out without coffee. Yeah, that can be a little bit on the hard side for right there. Reginald Taylor, just beyond this forecast Thanksgiving Day, will go out 10 days on the 10-day forecast. But again, anything beyond that is where the forecast gets a little bit more wibbly-wobbly and a lot of changes take place. So we'll give you the Thanksgiving forecast in the next several days. So keep it tuned to News Channel 3, and we'll keep you updated in tune around the area. Kennedy Morgan, yes, I did say rain in the morning. Thank you very much. And more chances of rainfall right on into tomorrow afternoon, so a soggy Monday. Monday across much of the Mid-South. Now, a couple thousand miles away, we've got a tropical wave. It's disorganized, but it is showing a little bit more cohesion and a little bit more potential of developing. National Hurricane Center a couple of days ago was giving this a goose eggs chance of developing. Now that chance over the next two to five days is up to about 70%. We are in the final days of hurricane season for the year. It looks like as this curves its way northwestward, it'll be coming very close to the Bahamas and could be something again for Florida, the East Coast states as we go into this next weekend. It so far does not appear to be heading for the Gulf of Mexico or the Caribbean. So, so far it does not look to be a major concern for us here in the Mid-South area or anything else in the South Central United States. But again, as the forecast goes, we'll keep you updated on those potentials as we go throughout the course of the next several days. Jacob Hickman, senior at Lee Senior High School in Aubrey, Arkansas, sent along by Nancy Pankratz. Thank you very, both very much for sending along this gorgeous view from around Aubrey, Arkansas. This one was actually emailed to me instead of tweeted from a good friend of mine and fellow class of 86 graduate from Topeka West High School, Ann Hefley in Burbank, California, looking back toward the mountains and again seeing a decent amount of smoke out there, very low visibility from the Woolsey Fire in and around Malibu. This is again a pretty large fire out there 
10 to 20 percent contained at last reports as far as I know and again this is doing a very good job of lowering air quality and it looks like the fire season continues right on in through what should be the rainy season but not happening at this point in time so thank you Miss Ann for sending that one along and allowing us to share it here on Weather Overtime from Margo Quick Van Dyke thank you very much for a gorgeous view from Friendship Tennessee sunrise this morning very early and some of those clouds giving a nice fiery glow out there so thank you very much for that one and Patricia Lynn Dunlap Poe thank you very much for a beautiful sunrise view through the branches of the trees from Bartlett Tennessee really appreciate that if you've got weather pictures we'd love to share them on social media and share them here on our uh, weathercasts our netcast as well and on air but we can't show them if you don't send them so you kind of see the problem I'm working with here so tweet them to me if you've got anything out there you want to send along you can email it to me at austin.onic at wreg.com would love to have your pictures out there and show everybody your photographic skills as well. My forecast throughout the rest of the weekend on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. And, of course, I'll be on with Bob and Josh for the rest of the week, Monday through Friday at 8 o'clock in the morning for Sports Chat Extraordinaire, AM 730 in Memphis. But if you can't reach them on air because you're out of the listening area, dial them up online at talkbacklivenetwork.org for more information. Coming up on the late edition of Weather Overtime, Time on my Facebook page, we take a special look again at whether where the troops are around the world. If you've got friends or loved ones serving in various United States military outposts, we'll take a look at some places on the globe that do have, again, American troops, sailors, service personnel stationed nearby. Afghanistan, right before sunrise on Monday morning, on the other side of the planet, 45 degrees with rain in Faizabad, 44 in Herat, 46 in Kabul with partly cloudy skies and 53 mostly cloudy skies around Kandahar. So if you'd like to see more about this, all you have to do is tune in at 845 on my Facebook, Periscope, or Twitter pages, and we'll take a look around the world, and we'll show you where you can get the information you just saw on screen here. We'll be glad to give that to you as we go throughout the rest of the evening. One more time, again, for the forecast heading into overnight. It's going to be chilly. It's going to be less breezy than last night, but we are going to, again, see the possibility of mainly scattered showers out there. Ariel Jackson Carter just tuning in. Is snow in the forecast? Yes, again, it's possible, but uh, what we're going to be seeing is rain as it leaves Monday night into Tuesday morning, mixing with the rainfall, snow possible there, and as it clears out, there's going to be the best possibility of snow accumulating north of us into and around Missouri and parts of West Kentucky, Southern Illinois. Here in the Mid-South, a brief bl glancing blow of snowfall mixed in with the rainfall, which means hardly any accumulation, if anything, whatsoever. So that's going to be about as good as it gets for us here in the Mid-South area. So yes to snow, but also yes to it being mixed up and around there. Mary Phillips, Kroger time. Uh, if you're going to the grocery store, I'm running low on root beer. So again, uh, if you could pick up a few of that into and around the area right there. Monica Russell, 20 in Campbell. Snow on Tuesday up to two inches. I'm not too sure if that's Campbell, Tennessee or Campbell, Arkansas, but if it's uh, in and around the area around the Missouri state line, there could be a little bit more about that taking place in that particular area. That'll wrap it up for this edition of Weather Overtime. Again, join us in about a half an hour at roughly about 845 on my Facebook, Periscope, and Twitter pages for more information about weather where the troops are. And, of course, we'll show you more of your weather pictures out there for more details as to what's going to be coming up as into and around the area for right now. And thanks to everybody who sent in some of those weather pictures from around the Mid-South. Awfully glad to have those. And if you got them, please send them in. We'd love to know more about where you're from, what the weather's like, wherever you happen to be. It doesn't have to be in the Mid-South, anywhere around the country, around the world, wherever you happen to be. Tweet them to us, and we'll do our best to feature as many of them as we possibly can. NFL ran way late tonight, so we're going to be on at about 10.40 this evening, if I'm not mistaken. So we're going to be on with the late edition of News Channel 3 at 10, way beyond where we should be. So stick around for a forecast update that will be coming up again at about 20 minutes until 11 o'clock tonight. But tons of great information coming up, so stick around for more there with News Channel 3. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik from downtown Memphis, Tennessee in the United States. For those of you tuning in from outside our country's borders, and stick around for a lot more with News Channel 3 on air and and online, Todd Demers has your forecast bright and early tomorrow morning on News Channel 3 Daybreak starting at 4.30 Central Time. Thanks for joining us.